Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be creating a primary road intersection with turn lanes in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll create an intersection with entry and exit turn lanes at the primary road. The secondary road crown will blend into the primary road edge of pavement. You can use the workflow that's demonstrated in this exercise to create an intersection with any combination of turn lanes and curb returns. Let's specify the intersection location and primary road. Go ahead and open up your intersection-create-2 drawing in your tutorials folder. Go ahead and go to your home tab and then to your create design panel. Next, go to your intersections drop-down and select create intersection. The command line is now asking us to select an intersection point. Go ahead and select this one right here. The intersection point of road A and road B alignments. Click road A to specify it as the primary road. Specify the corridor grade parameters. In the create intersection wizard on the general page, under intersection corridor type, we want to make sure that it stays on its default of primary road crown maintained. Go ahead and click next. Now we're going to specify the horizontal and vertical geometry parameters. On the geometry details page, click offset parameters. Default horizontal and vertical geometry parameters are stored in the drawing settings. You can modify the default parameters during the intersection creation process. In the Offset Parameters dialog box, specify the following parameters. Under Primary Road, Left Offset Alignment Definition, select the offset value. We're going to change this to 6. Now go to the right offset value. We're going to change that to 6 as well. Now under the Secondary Road, we have a left offset value of 3. We're going to leave that as it is. The same goes for the right offset value. We're going to leave that at 3. Now click OK. On the Geometry Details page, click Curb Return Parameters. The default parameters for the first intersection quadrant are displayed in the Intersection Curb Return Parameters dialog box. In the drawing, if we move this to the side, the first quadrant is highlighted. Arrows indicate the direction of incoming and outgoing traffic. In the Intersection Curb Return dialog box, select Widen Turn Lane for Outgoing Road. The widening details at Outgoing Lane Parameter Collection is displayed in the Property tree. When you highlight a property, the preview graphic at the bottom of the dialog box updates to illustrate the property in a typical intersection. Examine the default values that have been specified for this drawing, but do not change any of them. Go ahead and click Next. For the southeast quadrant, select Widen Turn Lane for Incoming Road, then click Next. For the southwest quadrant, select Widen Turn Lane for Outgoing Road, then click Next. For the Northwest Quadrant, select Widen Turn Lane for Incoming Road. Now we're going to click OK. In the Create Intersection Wizard, make sure the checkbox for Create Offset and Curb Return Profiles is selected. Then click Next. Lastly, let's specify the corridor parameters. On the Corridor Regions page, specify the following options. We're going to go ahead and create corridors in an intersection area and we're going to create a new corridor. Now this new corridor will have a daylighted surface to our existing ground and then we want to select an assembly set to import. Go ahead and click Browse. Now within your Tutorials folder you have an Assemblies folder and then Metric and under the metric folder, we have Autodesk Metric Assembly Sets.xml. Go ahead and select that and click Open. 
Then focus your attention on the Maintain Priority Road Crown. Under Curb Return Fillets, select this button right here. Now this dialog box is asking us to select an assembly. You can use the Select Assembly dialog box to substitute an assembly with another assembly that is in the current drawing. To save your changes as a new assembly set, click Save As Set on the Corridor Regions page. For this exercise, you'll accept the default assembly set. Go ahead and create intersection. The intersection is created and new corridor regions are created in the intersection area. Notice that the curb returns have widening regions to allow traffic to exit from and merge onto road A. So that's how you go about creating a primary road intersection with turn lanes. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.